Welcome to the next FMD interview. Today we are hosting Mr. Ambassador, His Excellency Mr. Ambassador Stefan Hellström, the Ambassador of Sweden to Poland. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much for having us here. Um, we have already had um, the Coffee Inspirations, mm. which is a flagship program of the Polish Forum of Young Diplomats, aiming at meeting diplomatic chefs of missions. Um, would you be so kind to tell us a little bit more about the times you were going to um, enter the diplomatic mm. service? What were your first thoughts um, as far as this career was concerned? Well, I entered the diplomatic uh, service through the Swedish uh, Development Aid Agency, SIDA, um, which uh, uh, is uh, working all over the world. I was uh, heading the Department for Central and Eastern Europe, which took me to to this region uh, in mid 90s, including uh, Poland. Uh, and uh, that a natural consequence of, of that that engagement which had a strong focus on, on on poverty reduction, on human rights, was to find possibilities to uh, to work abroad. Uh, and uh, I applied for for the position as uh, ambassador, Swedish ambassador to Tanzania, 2007, and and I got it. And it was uh, it was driven very much by by this this background I had uh, in uh, in development, and it, that's still one of my my major interests. Uh, one, to, there, I believe in in uh, having. Uh, a cause that you 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 try to tr promote S you do something not because it's a job but because it, it's important and to do that representing Sweden and a fantastic country like Poland that's that's a really a privilege um, you must have had as a that's your first that's your, that's your mm -hmm. third post um, you must have had a lot of different sometimes funny situation mm -hmm. uh, in your life could you share one of this uh, situations. Well, I think the, the the what was difficult to adapt to in in the beginning was uh, the uh, the protocol around uh, the job as mm -hmm. ambassador. Mm -hmm. so, uh, but I, I had a colleague uh, advising me on that and uh, telling me, well, you you you. you uh, don't necessarily need to uh, feel at home in 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 that uh, that sort of a bit ceremonial role, but uh, think of it as as a, a role that it, you you take on and uh, you're supposed to to perform. Uh, it helped me, and eventually I found some kind of, of balance between the. The kind of national natural informality, which is mm -hmm. to some extent me, and to some extent uh, also uh, my country. Swedes are not necessarily so ceremonial, uh, and uh, the the requirements of of uh, diplomatic uh, interaction, because you need to have some you need to have some procedures, because we are coming from so different uh, cultures sure. and and uh, realities.